god, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm like almost touching the side over there. Oh, you get not. Yeah, I am. Been on the East Coast, this ain't nothing. Just crossing into uh, Kentucky right now from Illinois. Catching your nerve racketness. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't nothing. Super skinny. If there was another big truck coming through. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I'm freaking out, man. Oh my god. So horrible. I don't believe it. Oh my God. You survived. Oh my God. We're still on the same lanes right here. There's a truck coming. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Just stay in your lane, run normal. If he hits you, it's his fault. Oh God, that was so close. <laughs> and you're gonna take the right. Yeah. We're gonna go across the nether one. Freaking out. <laughs> Come on, driver. I'm driving. There's another one. Here you go. Across the Ohio River. The worst going to happen, you're going to bang mirrors. That's about it. Yeah. If something bad were to happen. Oh my God, here comes somebody. Oh my God. Welcome to Kentucky. Here's the Ohio River. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> well, I will admit that one truck, he was encroaching over the line a little bit as he came onto the bridge. Yeah. There's like, no room to Yeah, there's no room for <laughs> screw ups right there. Cars are nothing you can see, they're in their lane, but yeah, another truck right here. And it's like I said, it's the mirrors. Yeah. You the know, mirrors they, they stick out. Yeah. yeah. Like literally the only thing between our trailer and his was the width of those two yellow lines. It's like the. Uh, <laughs> this is for your video. Yeah. I won't say it. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? It was not. <laughs> like white knuckling it. <laughs> Wimp. I know. <laughs> it's cool how the moss grows on all those trees. Or not the moss, but whatever that... Kudzu? Yeah, kudzu. Uh, they got it down here. Yeah, they do. Yeah. There's Kudzu. Yeah, it's all over it. I'm sure I remember if Kudzu grows as far north. I know Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. I don't know. Something. Georgia. Because when I lived in Georgia, it was everywhere. I mean, like, all this would just look like, like a total drape of Kudzu everywhere. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's got something growing on everything. Yeah. A little bit of Kudzu. Did you know that kudzu vine is not indigenous to North America? That is correct. It actually got brought over from, smuggled in from Asia or something like that. They brought it over here many, many years ago to think of like a new ground cover or something like that. I forget for what. Anyway, the exact story. I know somebody's probably going to go, oh, it was this. But <laughs> yeah, it was not supposed to, it, and then it just took over like a weed just got all over everything so oh what a jerk dude that was almost yep that was almost a head on that car even stopped look at that probably having a fucking heart attack right now <laughs> i know i would be people gotta learn man you just gotta wait a second jeez yeah. just hold on yeah they have those uh, little dots 
side of the south of Lion for a reason. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. I never knew that. Apparently some people don't. <laughs> I was never even aware of that. <laughs> but you never know. Someone watching may not know. <laughs> yeah, that was an incredibly stupid move by the guy in the charger. Oh, yeah. Almost had you head on, brother. And then you would have held us up. I can't, yeah, I can't stop people from doing stupid stuff, but ultimately your stupid decisions hold me up. Right, yeah. I mean, irregardless of the accident that happens, you know, yeah, it would suck. as much of a, as much as that sucks and everybody involved in it, but on the flip side, you just affected everybody, everybody else's lives for hours trying to get somewhere, do something, whatever, because, well, oh, I can't wait a second. That, that they couldn't wait 30 seconds. Not even 30 seconds. It could've it could've just waited ended. for that car to go by. That was well, yeah, it. Yeah, it could have, like, ended people's lives. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Dumb. Dumb. It's ignorant. <laughs> ignorant. Ignan, yeah. All right, welcome to Kentucky. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So today, we are at the Blue Beacon Truck Wash. They're a nationwide company, probably the biggest uh, ones out there. There's uh, many truck wash places, but Blue Beacon is... The one that you can find just about it everywhere. Um, there's usually a pretty good line. Today it's not too bad. There's only a few people in front of us, one person behind us. Uh, but usually you can, so a lot of times you can sit here for, I don't know, an hour plus just waiting for a washout if you have a reefer. Um, you can get many things washed here uh, RVs, trucks, you know, anything larger than than the normal size pickup or car uh, for you know people who don't know what Blue Beacon is all about. Uh, we're just sitting here in Salt Lake waiting for our next load and uh, I'm gonna go take some showers in a little bit. So but we haven't had the truck washed since we got it so it's like like going on what two and a half months now. It's pretty covered in bugs. It's gross. So when we get a little bit closer in line here, probably in the next, I don't know, million years, get some video of uh, getting it washed. So as you can see, we're in here getting the truck washed. Uh, I'd stand out there, but I don't want to get soap all over me. So, but she's finally getting clean. Man, there were so many bugs on the window, we couldn't even get them off. Oh, and you see that? You see that right there? Freaking rock. Got us good. So, but. It, you see, it's just like a normal truck wash in here. Uh, it's got all the hoses. It's got all the extra long wands so that uh, they can reach the top of the truck. I uh, can't really see much out there, but they uh, they have ladders, and uh, some of them have like a big rain type hood up there where it rains down to wash all the soap off. Uh, it's, it's you know it's just a, it's just a just a truck wash. It's nothing fancy. Nothing special, but uh, it sure does make a difference when uh, when you uh, when you can see out the window, or you know you don't have to worry about touching the truck because you're gonna get dirty. Oh, look, they're getting windows. Ah. <laughs> that, I don't know what that is. That must be like the, the heater for the water or something. It just came on. It's kind of cool. So, but you gotta oh, look at who's peeking through there. Look at, ah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, company or owner op or lease op, you gotta take pride in your ride, man. You gotta look good rolling down the road. So you gotta keep your rig clean. And uh, Blue Beacon, they do a really good job. They've been washing now for about, I don't know, about 15 minutes. They just uh, they came through, looked at it, and they're like, oh nope, there's still dirt on it. Washed it some more. It's pretty cool. So they do a really good job. Uh, when we worked for our last company, um, when we worked for Prime, we did a lot of reefer loads. Uh, we always came for washouts because they're, you know, they do a really good job. Um, most of them have multiple lanes to get mini trucks done at the same time. Every once in a while, you run into a thing where you get one with just one lane we usually pass those ones up because the wait time is usually pretty long because they uh, they take their time and they they get it done so good job so we're here at the loves we're gonna go use our shower credit 
We're gonna take a shower. You can get a shower credit with every 50 gallons, but if you pump more than 50 gallons, you still only get the one credit. So if you need to like add up your showers, then just get 50 gallons at a time. So it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, but at Love's, um, the more gallons you pump a month, you, uh, you get different status like gold, platinum. We're at Diamond, which is 1,500 or more gallons a month, and it's unlimited free showers and unlimited drink refills for free. So it's pretty good, and you get four points, four, four times points in the pump for more stuff to buy and, and you know, inside. Yeah, we're, 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 we're saving right now for uh, to get a GPS. So it'll be free on Loves. Shower, just one shower, just one. I have to give you a number. Okay. You're my only one waiting as soon as we get a shower back, we'll get it clean and call you up, but right now they're all full. Okay. Thank you. So, got our number? Give us key factory. How you doing, man? Oh, I already got him. I already got him. I already got it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. what the showers look like in a truck stop. Like your own little personal bathroom. Another toilet. And we got the showers. <laughs> it's my stuff. This one's yeah. a little smaller. Yeah, this one's a little small. But sometimes the showers are really small. Yeah. So, but this, it's not bad. You can get your own little private space and you can take a shower. But it's really hard out on the road to find the time to take a shower between loads and you know sometimes. especially running a team yeah especially running a team because you know they only want you to constantly go you don't have your 10 hours at night and you know sometimes you get to a place and you know there'll be 10 people in line and you know you don't have time to wait for that so it's it's i always like to point out that comes with soap it's generic just body and hair soap but yeah they do have it yeah, so yeah, you know, we've got our towels. Yeah. have towels and washcloths. So you really don't need anything but your clothes. But we like our own soap, so. That's our bath bag. Yeah, that's our bath bag. Fair Nobody got to see, but. What was it? The. Did you see? No, the Love's card. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If you come to any truck stop. Yeah. They all have them. And they all do a thing if you get 50 gallons. Sometimes it varies, it can be a little bit more at TA, but usually it's 50 gallons. Yeah. I've seen it sometimes, all 50, they say 75. I've it seen was it. A, another kind of truck stop, not the main truck stops. That it was like 70 gallons for a shower, 75 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but they all give these rewards cards, they all give you points for filling up, and they all give you free showers for 50 gallons. So it's a good deal. Um, you know, um, Loves, you do so many gallons, you get unlimited showers. Um, Flying J, same thing, but uh, if you don't get enough gallons for the month, you don't get shower power, which is showers for a month. They'll expire after a week. So you kind of got to use them or lose them. So, but they all pretty much look the same. So, I'm so let's get uh, showering. Yes, let's get showering. All right. Now that I took a shower? Mm-hmm. Yeah.